Sue Johnson, Hold Me Tight, 7 Conversations for a Lifetime of Love. In the book, Hold Me Tight, 7 Conversations for a Lifetime of Love, author Sue Johnson delves into the intricacies of relationship conflicts and emotional bonds. By exploring common communication issues and emotional patterns, Johnson provides insights on how couples can navigate through seemingly mundane arguments, share emotional vulnerabilities, and facilitate healing from past traumas. This summary will guide you through the key highlights, allowing you to understand the importance of emotional connection and the various ways to improve the quality of your relationship. The Psychology of Petty Fights do you ever find yourself arguing with your partner over insignificant issues? This common behavior may be a result of the fear of losing your emotional connection. As people rely on their significant other for emotional support, the fragility of their relationship can cause panic and overreaction. In fact, after a breakup, some individuals experience emotional crises, causing couples to fear for their own relationship. This fear can cause reactions that send partners in opposite directions. For example, one partner may retreat into work to protect themselves, while the other becomes clingy and demanding to seek reassurance. These opposing reactions create a downhill spiral, causing even more tension in the relationship. So, the next time you argue over the dishes or a hair in the drain, remember that it may be a result of a deeper fear and the fragility of your emotional connection. Blaming game in relationships. Blaming each other can cause an explosive situation in a relationship. The urge to find fault in others is natural. Recognizing patterns of criticism and changing behavior can strengthen a relationship. Have you and your partner ever found yourself playing the blaming game when something goes wrong in your household? When milk goes bad in the fridge, a happy couple simply buys new milk while an unhappy couple begins the notorious blame game. Most couples start innocently arguing about insignificant household details but the fight balloons out of control as each partner tries to put all the responsibility on the other. It's a natural human urge to find fault in others. Take the example of Pam and Jim, who were in a therapy session with the book's author. Pam expressed her affection for Jim and her concern for his stress from work. However, Jim's sarcastic response immediately triggered a spark of misunderstanding that eventually led to a full-blown blame game. Jim blamed Pam for their relationship problems, while Pam blamed Jim for never supporting her. The smallest of compliments transformed into a back-and-forth blame attack. The solution to this common issue is to recognize, possibly with the help of a therapist, the patterns through which you and your partner blame one another. Once you recognize these cycles of criticism, you and your partner can begin to change your behavior and improve your relationship. Both Pam and Jim agreed to stop blaming each other and felt that they had taken the first step toward a better relationship. Being mindful of this tendency within our relationships is the key to any successful partnership. Emotional Wounds in Relationships Past trauma can create sensitivities that trigger powerful reactions in relationships. Sharing emotional wounds with your partner, no matter how deep they run, can improve communication and lead to better understanding. Have you ever noticed your partner's reaction to a seemingly innocuous action and wondered why they became upset? Past trauma and emotional wounds can trigger powerful reactions, especially in relationships. These sensitivities are often attached to painful events experienced during earlier relationships or while growing up. For example, the author's husband's drooping eyelids triggered a sudden fury due to a past relationship where a boyfriend used to fall asleep whenever she wanted to discuss something. Such experiences can become overwhelming and make it difficult for partners to respond in the way you want and need. To avoid this, it's crucial to share your emotional wounds with your partner, no matter how deep they run. For instance, if you discover your partner dancing with someone at a party and feel insanely jealous due to a previous partner's infidelity, don't suppress your feelings. Share your response, make yourself vulnerable, and improve communication in your relationship. In summary, past trauma can create emotional wounds and trigger powerful reactions in relationships. Sharing these wounds with your partner can improve communication and lead to better understanding. 
Overcoming Relationship Challenges Life challenges can strain relationships, requiring careful analysis of the triggers and improved communication to move beyond blame and miscommunication. When life takes a difficult turn, it can put an added burden on our relationships. Even couples who are great at resolving minor arguments can struggle to communicate when facing serious challenges like illness, depression, or job loss. Claire and Peter were doing well until Claire fell ill with hepatitis, leading her to grow angrier with Peter for not taking care of her. Meanwhile, Peter felt his work demands were not being considered. This cycle of blame and miscommunication is common, but analyzing what triggers these disconnections and exploring how to communicate better can help break the pattern. By taking a closer look at their fights, Claire realized she complained a lot while Peter went on the defensive by attacking her. Both partners saw how their respective behavior, stonewalling and berating, was difficult to handle. By acknowledging these patterns and resolving to move away from them, couples can improve their communication and overcome relationship challenges. Overcoming Trauma in Relationships Trauma can create barriers to intimacy in relationships. It occurs when a partner's needs are ignored during a difficult moment, resulting in the core connection being violated. When traumatic events arise, they need to be confronted and resolved by both partners to repair the damage. This is made possible by articulating the pain clearly and emotionally acknowledging it. The Real Culprit Behind Bad Sex Couples often blame bad sex for their relationship problems, but research shows that emotional challenges are the real culprit. Happy couples attribute only 15-20% to of their total happiness to sex, while unhappy couples put around 50-70% to of the blame on bad sex. Instead, the focus should be on investigating troubled emotional bonds and improving them, as emotional connection leads to better quality sex. When partners feel comfortable with each other, they can share vulnerabilities, including insecurities about their bodies, and can count on each other for reassurance. The power of emotional attachment enables lovers to tune into each other's feelings, experiences, and improve sexual pleasure. Healing from Trauma The world can be a frightening place, and traumatic experiences are more common than people realize, with as many as 12% suffering from PTSD in the US and UK. However, Healing from trauma can be facilitated through emotional bonding, with survivors who had secure relationships after September 11 experiencing personal growth and a healthier recovery. Trauma can result from various events such as childhood abuse, serious illness in the family, or workplace incidents, and affects firefighters, police officers, and soldiers. The key to a healthy recovery is having a partner or loved ones to bond with following the traumatic experience. Sue Johnson's Hold Me Tight underscores the importance of emotional connection, communication, and vulnerability in maintaining healthy relationships. By recognizing patterns of blame, addressing past traumas, and fostering intimacy, couples can deepen their emotional bonds and learn to navigate conflicts more effectively. Understanding the role of emotional connection in various aspects of the relationship, including sex, can help couples shift the focus away from blame and look towards mutual growth and support. By utilizing these strategies and insights, readers can strengthen their relationships and work towards a lifetime of love and understanding.